אלהמדוללה רבי אל עלמי. חזבון אללה הוא נימה אל וקיל. The Lord is my light and my salvation, whom shall I fear? And ye though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for you art with me. Thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. Thou prepares the table before me in the presence of my enemies. You anoint my head with oil. My cup runneth over, and surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life. And I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever. Amen. As-salamu alaykum. It's Wednesday. Welcome to Johnny's Bite. And you know, Wednesdays are special because both the president and I were born on Wednesday. So Wednesdays are very, very special to me. Today's my day. And if you were born on Wednesday, count yourself lucky because we are really, really, really special. I want to be a bit frontal this morning because yesterday, after Community Voices here, which happens right after Johnny's Bite, and you can always call in with your community concerns on 055-924-2717 or 055-691-0154. I went to the Tuba Runabout. The Tuba Runabout is towards the Kaswa area. It's in the greater Accra region of Ghana. A gentleman who is popularly known as Brayao, in the neighborhood, for all those who are around there, they call him Brian Yao. Those who are his contemporaries call him Yao. God is good is what he calls his firm. He sells hardware for construction, tuba runabout. And those who live there can bear me testimony this morning. His shop has been burnt down to ashes because of this on and off, doom and so. Dum CC and Dum Nashe. That's ongoing. And when you talk about it, we are told that we are doing routine maintenance. It doesn't make sense. When you talk about it, they say, oh, there's a, a problem, a local fault. It doesn't make sense. When you talk about it, they say, oh, the light is not going on and off. It's not Dum So. We are, we are repairing it. It doesn't still make sense. Because we know what Nana Dodam Kwekufado tweeted in the past. He says, Mr. President, when the lights go on and come back, go off and come back on, is it not doom so, doom so? Hashtag vote for change. Yesterday, I read for you what Dr. Baumia said. He said, ECG has not been treated fairly. They have been stifled of the resources, the money they need and to get the equipment. And that privatizing ECG will not be the result. We did BDS. And then he goes on to say other things. Why can EC, can't ECG and the government and the Ministry of Energy come together and say, take, this is your timetable, so we know when our lights will go off, when they will stay on, so we can plan our lives decently. What ECG is doing, what the Ghana government is doing, led by Nana Dudam Kwekufado and Dr. Baumia, is very, very disrespectful to the people of Ghana. I'm telling you. I've just told you how Bra Nanayao, or Bra Yao, or, or Yao, whichever, whichever he's called, at Tuba Runabout, has lost his business that he built from scratch. And I spoke with a banker friend of mine as well who has been giving them credit and all of that. And, and, and look, it's painful. The man wept like a baby, I'm told. He wept like a baby, I'm told. So why can we not have the, the, the decency and the responsibility and respect for the citizen to tell them that, look, your lights will go off today at 6 p.m. It will come back tomorrow morning at 8 a.m. So prepare for it. People have lost their jobs because they are doing uh, work, what do you call it, remotely. ECG is not working. Their internet is also messed up. And they have a, an issue. And everything is okay. Everybody is fine. What the government and the ECG are doing to us is very disrespectful. You see the same posture that the ECG boss lawyer, Mahama, has, that he thinks that, well, they're doing their job and people have to pay for it. I, I don't fault him at all. I don't fault him. I, don't, I like his confidence. But he should use the same confidence to give us the power that we need. If the power is not there, they should not be the stopgap to be explaining to us or trying to do PR for the inefficiency of the system of which he is part. 
because he's a government appointee. It is painful. People's businesses. Have you ever sat down to wonder how the children are able to do their homework and revise the lessons of the day when the lights go off? Have you ever wondered how parents go through that mess? Have you ever wondered how parents go through that mess? The children have to do their homework. When they come back from school, they have to revise their work. The lessons that they did in school, what they learned in school. Have you ever paused to wonder how the children actually fare and how the parents manage that magic? Have you wondered? Have you also wondered how people who sell ice cream, people who sell iced water and all those stuff that are supposed to be chilled at the time you go and buy, have you wondered how they survive when the lights go off? Businesses are being drowned because somebody is trying to cover up rubbish. Forgive my French. And EC, I'm talking to ECG and the government directly. I'm not, I'm not mincing words. Let nobody come to tell me about values and culture and all of that. If you have slept, and you see, I'm speaking for the masses who do not have money to be able to procure generators. The masses who cannot procure generators. The masses who do not have inventors. inventors. The masses who do not have uh, solar panels. I'm talking about the masses who depend solely on ECG power to survive. Some prepare food for their children every morning to take to school. Some prepare it at the beginning of the week, refrigerate it, and then dish it, heat it, and let the children... Whichever way it is, you're going to cook it, all right? If you decide to refrigerate it, the fridge goes off because the light is off. And nobody's explaining, nobody's compensating. Everything is okay, and then we are making a joke out of it. This morning, if you tune to various radio and TV stations, you'll find them there explaining rubbish. Baldadash, explaining that. Have you ever wondered how children are able to manage and put their children to sleep in the heat? Have you wondered? Have you sat down to think about it? And while you think about it, let the, 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 the pain of Brayao, Nanayao, Atuba run about who has lost all his business, all his investment. And the people who depend on him, the employees, everybody, they have lost it because of doom, so, doom, so, doom, so, like that. Fire just sparked, boom, it's gone. Everything he owed is, is gone. Everything he owned is gone. And then we are being told that it's not doomed, so we should preach positive news or, uh, only. What's positive about putting my light off when you don't uh, alert me? You don't tell me anything about it. You just put my light off. You have no respect for me. I have, I have money on my prepaid meter. I don't owe you. I have a contract with you. I give you my money. You give me power. ECG will say, oh, if the power is not there, we can't distribute the power. Recently, I showed you the ridiculous message that ECG wrote, the press release, that they are going to be in touch with the, uh, what do you call it, the vendors so that they resolve the issue. You, your work depends on, on, the, on, on, on the internet. There's no internet. You say you're going to, re how are you going to resolve the matter? How are you going to resolve the matter? Until the NCA called for that meeting and asked telcos to prioritize, how are you going to solve the issue? How are you going to solve the issue? You must stop being a conveyor belt for what is wrong, ECG. And people's lights are off. And that's the reality. People's lights this morning as I speak are off. It's the reality. In the afternoon, it will go off. It is a reality. In the evening, it will go off. Some will sleep in the dark. It's a reality. Two days ago, I stood there and praised you that my lights have stayed on for two days. Then the evening when I came here and I came to praise you, my lights went off again. Are you proud of yourselves? Or we should keep it that you cannot shame the shameless. I am asking, are you proud of yourselves? How is it that you are not able to give us a timetable to show, show us that your lights will go off at this time and come back on at this time? That is what civilized societies do. That is what civilized societies, that's what they do. If you live in a civilized society, that's what we do. We tell people the truth. We are honest with people. We are candid with people. 
We tell them what it is that the truth is that we don't have the power to give to you. So because of that, we have X capacity and we're going to distribute it for A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, Z. Should I have the plus that the president is refusing to sign? ECG should... And, and Mr. Kofi Capito, where are you? Good morning. Consumer protection. I remember it like yesterday when you did, uh, what do you call it, uh, Occupy Flagstaff House. The unprintable words you use. I have the video, but I can't play it on morning TV. You use the F word. Right? F word. You used it, Mr. Kofi Capito. Where are you in all of this? I see you at MPP functions and MPP funerals and MPP, you know, other things, and you are hugging the big boys. Have you lost your voice? The people who did doom some have stopped the demonstration. Have they lost their voice? Are, are they all dead? I, I don't know when they all realized the funeral for them. People's businesses are drowning. Children are not able to do their homework. Parents are suffering. And we can't find anybody to explain to us. Only ECG writing love letters to us, and the love letters they write don't make sense. They don't have light. You have our money. We don't have the light. That's the only thing that makes sense to us. Why are you keeping our money without giving us light? That's all we're asking. That's all we're asking. Nothing more. We are not asking you to give us free electricity. And I'm telling you, if you continue doing these things, people will do, uh, what do you call it, um, um, illegal connections. I'm telling you. When people get frustrated, they will put it, they will put it straight on, the, on, on whatever beta and, and everything else. Show me the, the WhatsApp message, please. There's a WhatsApp message Can I read to you. It. it says, we have an issue that we need you to help our voices heard. The French examiners who took part in last year's French orals for WASI are still not paid for almost seven months now. Per Waik, the government hasn't paid them yet. We need our money. Help us through. I bind the cap. The old examiners. We are going to take another wasi. Friend teachers have not been paid. Even those who worked with the Electoral Commission as ad hoc staff have not been paid. They keep complaining. He said, we have an issue that we need you to help our voices heard. The French examiners who took part in last year's French orals for wasi are still not paid for almost seven months. Pewaek the government hasn't paid them yet. Pewaek, the government hasn't paid them yet. We need our money. If you were this particular individual, what will you do? If you were this particular individual, what would you do? It's a question, and we all must come together to ask this question. So where does government's, li uh, government's responsibility lie? Government's responsibility, where does it lie? And in a bit, I'll show you what Briar's shop, what it looks like. When you talk, they say, oh, talk about the positive things. You don't see anything good about the government. The things that government wants you to talk about, that we have launched a new model that will give job to 50,000 people. It's like a lookalike of NAPCO. The things that Cheddar wants you to talk about, that I will dredge a sea in the Ashanti region or Kumasi, it's like the promise that was made one district, one factory, one village, one dam. Me, my village, is there a dam there? Me, my village, is there a, my district, is there a factory there? Johnny's bite. If we believe those things, we'll believe because Cheddar knows the group of people who are a problem in this country. So he's preaching to them. International seaman. I said, I'll give him the salt. Somebody said they will provide the waves. He would download it, give the waves. But this morning, I'm very, very livid about ECG. Very, very livid. I know my friends at ECG will call me, but I don't need your calls. What I need is for you to keep the light on. And if you can't keep the light on, be honest with us and tell us this is the problem and this is how we are fixing. Don't come and tell us that for all of a sudden, all your, your transformers have problems. 
Because the light doesn't just go off in a crowd. In the western region, the lights go off. In the central region, they go off. In the Volta region, they go off. In the eastern region, they go off. In the western north region, they go off. In the Bono region, they go off. In the, in the, 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 the northern region, they go off. Northeast, Savannah, they all go off. Show me what I ask things. Johnny's bite. This is Wolf Iowa's shop on fire. Play, play again. Look, just loop it and play. This is Wolf Iowa's shop on fire. He couldn't pick anything. It's gone. Because his lights went off, on, off, on, off, on. Boom, fire sparks. It's gone. His business is gone. And he's one, just one of many examples. He built this from scratch. He has used it to take care of his children. He has employees who also have children. He goes to church. He pays his tithes. He does all those things. Look at it. It's gone. His shop is gone. His work is gone. He will now have to be begging people. This is Tuba runabout in the Great Accra region. So there's iron rods, but all the wood, gone. And the engineers will tell even the iron rod, now that fire has touched it, it becomes a problem. It's gone. Or fire out. Or fire out things. This is what this is what I was talking about. Let it sink into your head. And Dubik Mahama should know that you cannot hide anymore with your stuff. You cannot send William Boating or my own teacher Nia Nia Yikutu and be explaining to us. It doesn't make sense, the explanations you are giving. The people say our lights go off and come on. It takes a longer period, sometimes two days, sometimes three days. Give us a timetable so that we know how to plan our lives. Somebody has an interview this morning, right? They want to wear a particular shirt and suit to attend the interview. But they cannot do it because they, they, the, the lights are off. They don't have a box iron. Finished. Why do we do this to ourselves? This is what fires plight. Ashan shop eh ashi nisika ni nyina ashi egu eshan eshika eshan ese sento ese sento good morning to easy good morning to the people who tweeted in the past about the lights going on and off today when the lights goes off we know it is ecg it is no longer the president of the republic that is the level of the hypocrisy that we have in this country but rightly so. Well, we must ask the, the people who are providing the power. In the past, we were all conditioned to ask the president to provide power. Today, we are asking the ECG to provide the power because if you check our prepaid meters, we don't owe them. What fire our shop is burnt. His business is gone. I just brought that to you. Have a good morning.